the uh, thing here. I um, guess I pushed a button on accident. Leave it to me to screw something up. And I need to somehow put it on. But they ch changed this. Change it all around. I don't know where live feed is. What is that button? There we go. All right. Can everybody hear us and see us? Good. It's, it's crooked. Yeah. Okay. Stand from behind it. Yeah. Not in front of it. Okay. There you go. All right. So the chat is in front of. You. Oh, we got to turn this on. Let there be light. Can everyone hear us and see us okay? Is it people talking? Okay. I don't know how I'm gonna make it through here. There's a dog bowl. <laughs> Okay, thanks, Fat Rob. I appreciate that. <laughs> so, I see a lot of people are in here. Thank you guys for joining. Um, we have a lot to go over, and this time I think we're going to stay a little longer than normal to explain to detail what we're going to do, how we're going to do it, what the updates on the RV. Um, we're, it's still it's still in construction, but I think I'm going to be able to get it done this evening after the live stream. A lot of stuff going on. We got to put uh, new tires on the RV. Those are going to go on, hopefully tomorrow. I'm thinking some. I know when Britain's coming here. I was thinking I was going to take it in the morning after I get to. Oh, we got to make an appointment. He just told me to drop it off anytime. So hopefully we can do that. I'll call him and see if he can get those tires put on. And Klaus just opened the baby gate. He's smart. Smart dog. All right. So, welcome again, everyone. Um, I see Melissa Ford's here, Debbie Devaney, Patrick Hartman, Nancy, Stephanie Jinks, Erica. And we're, everybody, hello. Um, thank you all for joining. And, um, yeah, well, let's go over what we're going to do. Um, I think all together we're going to be gone for about, what, two and a half months? Two. Two months. So. It's scheduled for two. Schedule for two could go on a little bit longer or it could be shorter depending on our cases and if we bring them home or not. There's a lot of variables in that. But the main thing is we're getting on here to tell you guys what we're going to do to detail, who we're searching for, why we're searching for them, um, the exact details and stuff like that. So on this whole case, I'm going to hand it over to Lindsay to talk about... <clears throat> Because obviously she can talk better than I can. And I'm actually wore out from running around. It's past two minutes. Um, so I'll just go over kind of this week, next week, and then the trip. Um, so you guys are just going to have to listen to me for a while. Sorry. Um, so this upcoming week, we have Britton and Colston. They are coming up tomorrow. They're going to be with us for about three days. They are bringing up some of Britain's equipment because they will be flying later on. Um, <clears throat> so they're going to be bringing some of uh, Britain's equipment up. They're going to drop it off with us. That way we can pack it in the RV. That's Monday through Wednesday. Wednesday, we also have a short trip planned. Well, not short, a quick trip. It's going to be a very quick trip, down and back. Uh, something that we, we've got to go get done, taken care of. And super excited to uh, talk with you guys all on Wednesday when that happens. I, you're doing a live that day, right? I was reading the comments and I wasn't paying attention to you. What did you say? You're doing a live Wednesday? Wednesday when we get the boat. Oh, okay. There's your surprise. Um, 
yeah, we got to do something on Wednesday. Uh, we're going to go live, and uh, you guys are going to see. Um, I was going to interrupt you because there's a thousand people asking about G and his update. I was going to go and get G real quick so he can oh. tell everybody thank you for. Okay. Well, if it. you want to do that, I'll just fill him in on the rest of this week. That's kind of why I wasn't paying attention. Okay. So I'm going to put this on mute so you can't well, you hear can. me. Can I put this on mute? I don't know how. How about I just do this? I'm just going to take it off. <laughs> and I'm going to go out there so they don't hear me huffing and puffing. I've been running ragged today. I did it all the way. Thank you. Um, the lawn and just getting everything prepared for us to leave. I'll be back. Okay, so. so he can step behind you. All right. Uh, real quick, I'll. Sorry. I'll kind of finish going through this week while he goes and, and grabs Garrett. Um, <coughs> so, like I said, Britton and Colson are coming Monday through Wednesday. They're going to be dropping off some of Britton's dive gear, some things that he's unable to fly with, that kind of thing. On Wednesday, we are making a very quick trip down south. It's We're heading down. We're grabbing what we need. We're coming right back. Uh, like I said, there probably will be a live stream on Wednesday, so right. we'll kind of look for yeah. that. I'm not sure what time. I have no idea yet. Um, I do believe Britton will be going with us on Wednesday, and then he'll be headed home from there. After that, um, on Thursday, I'm actually headed down to Chattanooga to take Eric some of his stuff, some things that he can't fit in his car, a mattress, um, some things that have been shipped here to the house that he needs down there for work. So I'm going to be doing that on Thursday. I'll be back on Friday. And then Saturday, Sunday, Monday is all going to be finishing touches on the RV, packing everything. Um, but uh, I know that Garrett, a lot of you had asked about Garrett. So he is home from the hospital. Uh, we went just this last week. Thursday? Was it Thursday? Yeah. Thursday to the doctor. Um, he's been released. Um, he still does have to be careful with lifting and, you know, doing anything crazy. He still has to be somewhat careful. Um, all of his incisions are healing nicely. The last one where his drain tube was placed, that's the last one that's healing up, which makes sense. Um, he does have to keep a Band-Aid, just a regular Band-Aid on that one. If he's going to be doing anything dirty, sweaty, anything like that. So... Uh, but just a quick little, uh, how you feel synopsis of how you feel and, uh, what you went through in that week and a half kind of, um, PG to keep it. <laughs> I feel a thousand times better than I did when I walked in and keep feeling better every day. <laughs> um, there was, you know, there was some, some times of, oh my gosh, uh, you know, not realizing it was as bad as it was. You know, when the doctor came in and said that we were only a few hours from not needing a hospital, it kind of puts things into perspective for you. So uh, extremely thankful that, one, Garrett obviously is okay. That's that's my baby. Um, sorry to any of the nurses that I may have yelled at. Um, <laughs> that's my baby. Uh, and then, all right, and then uh, you know, thank you to all of you guys for the well wishes, the prayers, um, you know, the messages, text messages, Facebook messenger, uh, messages on, you know, YouTube, everything. Thank you so much for, for checking on Garrett. I had so, so many people reach out. I didn't get back to everybody, um, in a timely manner for that. I apologize, but there was just so much going on every day. So, so how did you like that? Uh, I'm going to say it wrong. Is it, is it an NG tube or what? NG tube. Um, that was the worst feeling ever. <laughs> it felt like you couldn't like swallow or like move your throat hardly because there was a tube lodged right here. Yeah, and your gra and your grandma lied to you because you said it was a real small tube and it was. That a... was not small at all. <laughs> it it was small, but I'm sure to Garrett it probably felt like a vacuum hose going down it, his it throat. Felt so very close. I've I've never seen something like that happen, and I am so. It sucks that it happened to Garrett, but I'm glad I didn't have to go through that because that <laughs> looked painful. Yeah. It, it's it also just, tr sort of traumatizing now. Yeah. Yeah. Garrett doesn't want anything near his nose. The other day he had something by his nose and I went to wipe it and he was like, I, I think he has PTSD from it. Yes. So, but 
What yeah. was the best part about it? About the hospital? About the hospital. Um, PG-13, Garrett. <laughs> I'm, I'm, I'm talking about what, what did we do the back, about halfway through? Oh, um, the, uh, the TV and the Xbox that, you know, helped me get out of bed, motivated me. Yeah. We brought his, uh, we brought his, his Xbox and his, uh, TV to him so he could, uh, play. And that, and then the, um, not having to get out, be- out of bed and, uh, you know, be social for the day. That was nice. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so everybody, thank you again so much for the well wishes on Garrett. Um, I did stay throughout the night, and I got a lot of editing done. So that was a plus, so you guys got to see a lot more videos since I had time to do them. Yeah. So So did I need to go back in the hospital for more videos to come out? (laughs) Do not ever go back in the hospital. All right, so. All right. All right, buddy. So there's that. All right, go ahead, sorry. Um, so yeah, so that kind of rounds out our, our, our upcoming week, um, Britt and Colston, and then I'm driving down to Chattanooga for less than 24 hours, but we won't be able to see Eric. Eric doesn't come home before we leave. Uh, and then Saturday, Sunday, Monday will be mostly spent packing the RV up, um, cleaning everything up, getting finishing touches, making sure that we have everything we need, you know, going through a checklist, everything like that, uh, preparing the boat. Basically, I mean, if anybody's, one, if anybody's traveled in general, you know, you got to make sure you have everything, enough boonies, enough socks for a trip, that kind of thing. Boonies are underwear, by the way, if anybody that, doesn't know, because I didn't know. Um, and then RV packing is, is a little bit different. Uh, you have minimum space, making sure that everything on the RV is good to go. We are getting tires put on at one point in time this week. Uh, oil change? Or did we just get I that done? I just did the oil change, and I wasn't 100 miles away from the house when I did it. Okay, that's what so. I thought I was going to say. Um, but, yeah, so just, you know, checking everything over, making sure we're good to go. And then we will leave to start our trip on April 23rd. That's next week on Tuesday is when we leave. We head out then. Um, During this trip, I'll talk a little bit about who's coming with us. So on this trip, Jacob and I start out the trip. Uh, We have a couple cases where it's uh, just Jacob and I. Um, Then we will pick up Corey with Cooper's Amputee Lifestyle and Josh can too. He will be coming along with us for about a week, I think. And then, so we pick up Corey and Josh. So now we have four people on the road. We drop off Josh. Uh, Like I said, I think Josh spends about a week with us. Uh, We drop him off. And then we will pick up Eric, Britton, and Colston. So we lose one, but get three, which is okay. Um, Eric is with us for about a week. And then when we drop off Eric, we will also be dropping off Corey. And then from there, I feel like I'm saying and then, and then, because there's so many pick up, drop off, pick up, drop off. Uh, From there, Britton and Colson will continue with us for another couple weeks. Uh, uh, Another couple weeks, I think. uh, Rebecca Garrett did have brain surgery six years ago. Yeah, Garrett has had brain surgery. Uh, Garrett had a right functional hemispherectomy. They removed the right frontal lobe and then disconnected the two halves of the brain. But this surgery... Uh, was an emergency appendectomy um, that resulted in sepsis and some other things. And we'll let you know, Corey, when we're on our way. Corey Johnson, Random Adventures, has been the best, awesome dude, helps us with everything we need to need on everything. So thank you. Go ahead. Sorry. Uh, um, he's, our, he's our go-to little buddy remote control person. <laughs> um, so Britton and Colson are with us for an additional Two weeks, I think, after we drop off Eric and Corey, and then they leave. So we actually, we have everybody with us towards the beginning of the trip. And then the last uh, almost month, I think, is just you and I again. Uh, Is this? Yes and no. 
talking about? That would be that would be midway. So I did tell them that at the end that. Um, while we're on the road working some of our Indiana case, I think it's Indiana. Kyle's going to be joining us. Ringo, uh, is it Indiana or is he coming on the Michigan cases? Both. Okay, so Kyle will be with us intermittently throughout our trip as well. Um, there is also the possibility of uh, Doug joining us, but that would be towards the end of our trip. So that's something that we're looking at as we get closer to that that time and date. Yeah, Doug Bishop will be coming hopefully. Yeah. Um, and, but like I said, that would be on the second half of the trip. So we also may have um, Mike McFerrin with us on the second half. Yep, uh, Mike McFerrin. Some of you guys may know Mike. He was the diver on Moe's case that we did in Louisville, Kentucky. And then he has been with us and been the diver while searching for Kenny Loudermilk over in, uh, over in Missouri, in Washington, Missouri. So. Some of you guys, uh, if you've seen and uh, you know some of those videos, Mike McFerrin's been with us before. Mike McFerrin is a beast of a diver. Uh, there's some there's some places in some of the rivers that we're going to be going that are way beyond my pay grade. Uh, <laughs> Your pay grade. <laughs> way beyond my pay grade. And then, um, whereas you know Mike McFerrin, Mike McFerrin trains in the Missouri River, so. You know, I've never seen anybody get dressed so fast. I've never seen anybody get in the water and be on the bottom so quickly. Like, you can watch him on the live scope. And, like, the rest of us, I'm like, oh, look, there we go. Oh, woo. And then there's Mike McFerrin. And you're like, where, where is he? And then all of a sudden you see him moving on the, on the bottom. So, again, he's, he's used to that. That's what he trains in. Obviously, we'll never put a diver in a situation where we feel unsafe or if the diver feels unsafe. That's, But Mike McFerrin probably has more experience than most of us. The one thing about Mike is... In he, that. The one thing about Mike is he trusts me as a, as a captain, as a boat captain, and if, he, if I say go, he's in the water. Um, and, you know, I was like, all right, Mike, you need to get ready. And I looked behind him. Look behind me, and he was already dressed. I'm like, what? <laughs> what happened? <laughs> yeah, he's he's ridiculously fast, and again, he's an incredibly skilled diver um, in rivers that kind of create, uh, you know, a more peril situation. So, having Mike with us is an absolute asset. All of the divers that come with us, um, I I obviously am the least experienced diver, um, but to have all of these additional divers is always an asset for us. All of these divers bring so many different things. Uh, we were just talking about it the other day. If it's just this crazy wicked river and you gotta get down fast, I, I'm calling Mike McFerrin. If I, you know, we're looking for a deep diver, we're calling Corey. Um, you know, each one of these divers has their own kind of expertise or, you know, this area that they have more experience in. So. We rely on on them, you know, and one to learn to, from. If we need to find a pew pew. We call it Britain. Yeah, if we yeah, uh, Britain <laughs> has dove in some of the craziest, dirtiest waters um, and still manages to find exactly what he needs to find. So, you know, when when it's kind of a oh situation, um, you know, if we only have fifty psi in a tank, I'm calling Bryson. He'll dive for four hours on it. <laughs> he will, he'll <laughs> dive with fifty psi, which. If he ever does that to me again, I'm going to... He, he's not going to come up because I'm not going to let him come up. <laughs> Punk. Um, so, yeah. So, we... Um, this upcoming week is ridiculously jam-packed full. Super busy. And then starting next week, it's almost like getting on the road is a breather. Um, again, uh, Jacob and I start out the trip, then joined by Corey with Cooper's Amputee Lifestyle. Josh, Josh can too. Josh leaves us. We pick up Eric with Ride or Dive. We pick up Brittany Colson with Depths of History. And then Eric and Corey have to depart. And then Brittany and Colson stay with us for a little bit longer. And then they have to leave as well. And then intermittently, Kyle, uh, Ringo, and Czar, he'll be with us on the trip. I think is Kyle and Cody? Cody's coming, yes. Yeah, so Kyle and his son Cody both will be joining us. Um, they were with us on the last one when we dove with uh, Doug at the Mommy River. Yep. Um, and then 
there is the possibility of Doug to come, but that's, like I said, much later on our trip. So going over cases, we will be covering, I think, 20 cases over eight states. Uh, Lily did the math for me this evening. She, she waited. You want to come over here, huh? <laughs> you know, she does. Um, Lily did the math for me this evening to figure out mileage and travel time. So she's our, our little mathematician. Uh, so how many miles are we traveling? See you later, Art. Thank you. 3,152 miles. So we will be traveling approximately 3,152 3, miles. That's just driving from city to city to city. That's not the individual each day is spent there where you know we're going pond to river to lake, that thing. That's just from one case to the next case to the next case. And then all together, I think we're looking at just under 50 hours worth of driving. That doesn't seem like a lot, but when you think about it, it, it really is. Um, a lot of our cases are um, three to four hours apart from each other. We try to keep things fairly steady um, as far as driving. So that way we're not on the road for a day at a time and then up the next morning. We can actually get to where we need to be, get settled in, talk about everything, figure out, you know, is there any new information, that kind of thing, go over the cases with everybody and, and go from there. So, but yeah. She's gonna be playing softball. When we're yep. gone, we're gonna be listening to her. My son is also playing baseball, which is pretty awesome. He he said he wanted to start playing baseball and then uh, we got him the equipment and uh, he'll also be playing baseball when we're gone, but we're trying to take him to his last practice on Friday, so. Yeah, so again, this week is, is jam packed. Uh, we've got, We've got Britton Colson coming. Buggy's got practice Tuesday, so I'm going to try to make it to that because I won't be able to be here for our games. Uh, traveling down south for a quick trip, traveling to Chattanooga for a quick trip, uh, coming back for... I don't know. Tra traveling back for... You, you, you don't see her? Oh, that's what you were not... I thought <laughs> she you was were, giving you bunny ears. I thought you wanted me to not say... No, she was giving you bunny ears. Um... Uh, and then Keegan has practice on Friday, so we want to be able to be there for that because again, we'll miss we'll miss his season. And then uh, the weekend will be packing, lots of packing. Um, so to go over our cases, um, this is in no particular order. Um, so we are going to be going to, some of these are return cases for us, some of these are new cases to us. Um, Donna Mitchell in Hope, Indiana. Donna went mich missing in uh, February 11th of 2020. We have Bonnie Schultz, that's a return case for us as well. Um, she went missing July, or I think she was reported July 4th of 1997 in Indianapolis, Indiana. Bonnie is a return case for us. Donna is a return case for Jacob. Jacob has had previously uh, worked on Donna's case with Bryson a couple of years from ago. Dive for good. Yeah, with uh, Bryson, Dive for Good, and Tammy and Dennis from Team Waters. We have one more Indiana case. Um, it's kind of the Indiana Illinois line, Donald Stofko Jr. He went missing on November 16th of 2016. This is one of those cases, I think for both you and I, that we would love to to bring Donald home, not only for his family, but because this was one of Dennis's last cases. Uh, Jacob and I had the privilege of working with Tammy and Dennis on this case searching, we searched three, three ponds that day, four ponds that day. Um, so, you know, searching for Donald's soft coat with Tammy and Dennis obviously is always, um, well, we still have Tammy um, that we rely on heavily, but anytime we got to work with them, you know, as a team was always a privilege because it's always a learning experience. Always, I think we learn something new every time you go with them. Uh, there's a mosquito. Did you go in your apple? Yep. Good. Glad you got it. Thanks.
Go ahead. Um, another case that we are returning to is going to be Tom Long. Tom Long disappeared in 1969 from Wellston, Ohio. So there is a, a tip somewhat that we got. So we're going to return to Wellston. We're going to search for him in Wellston. But then we were also told that there is a red Catalina at a boat ramp while we were searching for Mike Bishop. So while we're back in that area later on in our trip, if we do not find Tom, it's another place that we want to search. Um, and then continuing through Ohio, um, we're going to be in the Steubenville area again. Uh, we are going to continue our search for Charles Hanlon. Now, Charles Hanlon went missing October 10th of 1999. We did recover his truck two years ago. With uh, Britain was with us on that trip. We did recover his, his vehicle, but there's been new information that has come out. Um, people are starting to talk when his truck was discovered. Um, Freddie, uh, Sheriff Abdella, he has, you know, he's taken over that case and, you know, really put the pressure on some people and people are starting to talk. So we've gotten some information. That is when we are going to have everybody with us, uh, except for Josh. Josh leaves right before that. But uh, that's when we will have Jacob, myself, Eric, Corey, Britton. Uh, we also have Josh Hammond will be with us that week. Uh, his, his best friend, Jared Manley, I think will be with us that week um, because we are going to need the divers. Um, there's, there's some information that's come out that is going to, um, we're going to be doing a lot of free diving, grid searching, that thing. Um, and then while in that area, obviously going to continue our search for Karen Adams. Now, Charles was from Bloomingdale, Ohio. We found his truck in the Steubenville Marina. Karen Adams was from Independence Township, Pennsylvania, um, but she had left the Mountaineer Casino um, and going off of cell phone information, her cell phone had pinged just south of Steubenville Marina. So, uh, but again, kind of encompassing Jefferson County. It's all depending also on, they had a ton of flooding, like Pittsburgh was bad. Um, you know, hopefully everybody there is safe, um, but the water is a chocolate milk. Um, if the water is still that color, I don't think we're going to be doing so much on um, Charles, but we, we just still continue to search for Karen Adams. Well, that may be something where Brent, Corey, and Eric are say, you put us on something and we'll, we'll do yeah, it. If I see so. a, if I, yeah, if I see a drum or something, something um, like that, yes. We will be returning to continue a search for Janet Walsh. Janet Walsh went missing out of Shaler Township on January 20th of 2020. We've got uh, not information, but just new areas to search. So we're expanding our search area for Janet, going to go back there and continue our search for Janet. We have three different cases in Detroit. We have Juliet Turner. She went by Julie, who went missing on March 5th of 2001. Robert Vance, who went missing June 12th of 2003. And David Kane, who went missing on April 5th of 2021. Those, all three of those cases put us in Detroit. Then we will move over just a few minutes to the Redford area, which we'll still keep an eye out in Detroit for uh, Wesley Bennett. He was from Redford Township, Michigan. He went missing March 29th of 2004. And then we have Augustine Floyd. Uh, his family affectionately called him Augie. He went missing on October 12th of 2007 out of Mount Pleasant, Michigan. So we are kind of so far making this loop go, well, I guess for you guys, it would be that way. Are they backwards? Am I backwards? We're anyway. making an east loop going north. How about yeah, that? and then heading back to the to the west. Um, after that, we hit up, after Michigan, we hit up Wisconsin. We've got two cases there, Jerome Tuber in Edgerton, Wisconsin. We do have another case that we are looking at. Um, that one, we're going to be working with another team, Wings of Hope. Uh, some of you guys know Brad or are familiar with Brad. We've talked about him in the past. He was with us on our search for Patrick Ream out of Rockford. And then he's also come down and helped uh, in the search for Kenny Loudermilk. And then we also helped him or attempted to help him, but unfortunately weather and the ocean don't mix. Um, but we, we had made the trip to South Carolina to, to assist 
Wings of Hope there, but we were un unfortunately unable to get out onto the okay. water past the break walls. Um, so there is another case that we're working with him. We're working with him, but primarily with law enforcement. He's coordinating everything. Um, and then we move over to Minnesota. We have Georgia Smith, uh, who went missing June 30th of 1999 out of Champlin. Is it Ch Champlin? 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 Minnesota? I'm not sure how it is. <laughs> I'm not even going to I'm not even going to I would just say Champlin, but I could be wrong. Champlin? Champlin. It's Champlin. Champlin. Um, and then Minneapolis, we will be searching for Mark Foles, who went missing on January 16th of 2003, again in Minneapolis. He said that, Jeff said that's it. Yeah, but we said 15 things. I said things. it four different ways, <laughs> Jeff. Um, then uh, we also have Iowa. We will be working four cases in Iowa, or excuse me. Champlain. Okay. Uh, working four cases in, no, excuse me, three cases in Iowa. Um, we will be returning to Harry Milligan who went missing July 1st of 1984. But why does that date not sound right? Maybe it is right. Um, a lot of you guys obviously are familiar with, uh, with, with Harry Milligan, Mark Milligan, that kind of thing. Um, we will be searching for uh, Matthew Ferris in Des Moines. Uh, he went missing on February 1st, 1991. We've got a couple pawns searching for that one. Um, and John Stephen Conway, who went missing February 9th of 1998 in Council Bluffs, Iowa. And then our last case for this trip will be William Weber, who just recently went missing on March 29th of 2024 um, out of East Moline, Illinois. From there, we head home. Uh, so as of right now, we are, uh, like I said, we've got about 20 cases. We'll be gone for almost two months exactly. Um, I do anticipate some of these cases staying an extra day or two. Um, Harry Milligan, we say we're gonna be there for <laughs> four days and we end up there for Christmas. So we, <laughs> we, we just stay with Mark and mom. So. Oh, don't say that. <laughs> she, I, I can say it, nobody else can. Okay, so. <laughs> With all that being said, guys, that's 20, did you say 22 cases? 20. 20 cases. It's a lot. It's a lot. Um, we're going to be pushing, we'll be pushing the limits on, on things. Um, you know, we still do need your guys' help. We do have a GoFundMe for the trip. It is down in the link in the description. We also have ways that, on chaosdivers.com, there's that mosquito, um, that, you can help um, ways you guys can help if you guys know of these places um, if you guys can talk to anybody who has campgrounds we don't preferably like to stay at people's houses that's just something we don't do unless we know them personally um, if you can you know find some uh, places that will, will give us a discount on on campgrounds that usually helps um, you know on the uh, Amazon wish list I think you just put chaos divers on there. I still think we have enough time. If you guys do want to give gift cards, that's amazing. For gas, we need gas. We need gas. That's 3,400 and... 3,152. Miles. I don't know if you guys do that with the math with the gas prices today and the camper, RV, <laughs> and the boat. We're talking about a lot of money here, guys. And when I get paid, I think we'll have around $1,000 to start with. So... That's good. Um, so yeah, again, we have 20 cases across, uh, what did I say, eight states, seven states, eight states, um, just over 3,100 miles. Uh, going to do our very best. Again, some of these cases are new to us. Some of these are return, um, like that's a return. You can talk for a second. Um. Other ways you guys can help, if you guys do know about these cases, there's a talk now button on chaosdivers.com on the right-hand corner. Give us some tips. Give us some places that we couldn't think about or didn't think about or maybe not on the Google map. Maybe there are trees in the way um, on the routes home. Um, do your guys' research. Help us out. Like, this is not just us. You guys have helped us a ton. 
um, finding out about these cases. Uh, we've got some of the best internet sleuths out there. And it's because of this empire that Chaos Divers as a whole built that it's insane. You guys are amazing. Um, we have, out of the 20 cases, eight of them are return cases, mean, meaning that Jacob and I have, have been there before um, and worked those cases. I want to say, like, Britton and Corey both have been to Steubenville with us. Britton has been, oh, no, he, will, he won't be on that one. Uh, I was going to say Wellston with us, but Britain's he won't be. Britton's like we are. But I'm saying, like, no. he's not, Britton has been to Wellston, but he won't be there this time. It would be, it would be Corey. Corey. Corey should and, be with us. Yeah. And, and Josh. Uh, Josh can too. Um, you know, so some of these cases, like I said, are, um, we're, we're almost half and half. We're, you know, eight are returns. And then 12 of them are new to us. That's not to say that, you know, not that there haven't been other search teams and um, some of these cases are, are a lot older. We've got, um, obviously, Tom Long, he's been missing uh, since 1969. We've got Harry, who's been missing since 1984. We've got a couple cases that have been missing since the 90s. Um, some of them, a uh, majority of them are probably, you know, early 2000s, and then um, some as recent as less than a month ago. So, uh, yeah. Thank you, Helen, so much for that donation. That means a lot. We will, um, any of those stickers and any of those um, donation type uh, super chats will come in handy at the end of the month. And everything is welcome and very well appreciated. There's a lot of questions that we're going to get to at the end. Um, if you guys will hold off on, on most of those questions, um, I can answer a few of them real quick. Um, we still have the electric motor. We are going to be putting it on still. Um, we will not be going through Kansas City. Okay, that's enough questions. Yeah. <laughs> Two whole questions. Hey. Uh, um, so, yeah. Quick recap. We are, this week is all prep. Uh, Britt and Colson are coming. They're dropping off some of their things. Uh, we then head down, make a quick trip south. Literally go down, pick up something, come back, done. Britain, I think, is going with us. Britain will he is going to head down. down there with us and then head home from there. And then uh, Chattanooga uh, for another quick turnaround, take Eric some belongings, see him. Eric doesn't actually come home until long after we leave. Eric actually won't come home until right before he's supposed to leave to fly out to meet us now. So Sonny will definitely get a hold of you when we're in Iowa. I'll, yeah, I'll, I'll send you the date, Sonny. And, um, Just call him Honey. Sonny. <laughs> I could call Sonny Honey if I wanted to. Honey, Sonny, Sonny. Sonny, Sonny would, Sonny would honey. let me. Sonny Honey. <laughs> um, Deed's not words exactly. Billy Browning. Uh, and then quick trip down. Lily and Keegan both have practices this week, so we want to make sure that we catch both of those because we will unfortunately be missing their season to actually see them play in person. Then the weekend will be spent packing, and then packing, and then packing. Everything and packing. got everything got taken out of the RV whenever I started doing all. You, sh if you guys seen what the RV looks like, she can call me anything she wants. I love you, Sunny. Um, so there's a lot of things. So I, we, I think I, on the bench. No, no, she helped me a lot. So, so the bench seats now have a trundle bed. The back bed has been split in half, and now we have a bunk bed, and the other bunk bed is going to be built tonight. It's going to be a long night. It's going to be a very long night. Um, it hasn't even been started on the other side, but I think since we did this side, I don't think it's going to be too long. Anyway. Um, have you all ever given a small child copious amounts of like caffeine and sugar and then given them power tools I don't know what you're talking and about and trying and like a tape measure and then telling them to focus 
Your sister's looking at me like, yep. Because she knows. Don't it's you? chaos, okay? It's chaos. Hey, Eric refers to Jacob as an untethered eight-year-old. Accurate. Did you say accurate? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> really? We have all kinds of votes from the peanut gallery. <laughs> I can get it done. Uh, bread maker, thank you so much for that donation. Man, that's amazing. I appreciate that. Um, anything you guys do for us, and there's somebody out there that said they couldn't help us. You're here. You're helping us. You're, you're, you're doing it. You're, you're yeah. doing it right now. You're watching. You're sharing. You're liking. That's, that's amazing in itself. Yep. That's what, that's what, whenever I get paid at the end of the month, that's what gets put back into the company. So yep. you're doing great. Thank you so yep. much. Your guys' support really does mean a lot. There are days where, um, so when I first met Jacob and he was first taken off and, um, you know, I was really starting to help him more and more. And I can't count the number of times that, you know, we'd be on the phone talking about something and he'd be like, I'm done. I'm throwing in the towel. Um, I can't count the number of times that I threatened to take his towels, burn them, and bury them so he couldn't throw them in. Um, but then something would happen and somebody would comment something and it would just hit him. And he would realize that, yes, we do this for families and we do this to help people. But there's a lot of you guys who are unable to do that. So just supporting us is allowing you guys to be a part of all of this. So it it means a lot. Exactly what Richard said. He was left, un he's never unsupervised. <laughs> thanks, thanks Richard, I appreciate it. Yeah. Guys, everything we do for these families, even though we, even sometimes even when we don't find them, we know where they're not. Um, there's been a lot of times where I have thrown, like she said, want to throw in the towel. I don't want to give families false hopes, and I feel like I'm doing that on some of these cases. It's like we're trying so hard that I can't find them. I, I try my hardest. I, there's just nothing there and, and pushing so much. And then I talked to Doug Bishop, and I talked to her, and they're like, you're doing what you're supposed to do. But it just, I want to do more, and it sucks because we can't find them. That's why we always come back. When I make a promise... We do it. When we make a promise, we do it. And that's the one thing that I can say that we are very confident about. If I tell you we're coming back, we're coming back. Um, I'm not sure. So somebody asked if we have PayPal. Uh, we do have PayPal. There should be a link in the description of this video for it. If not, if Jeff's still on here or anybody has it, if they could put it up um, since somebody had asked. Um and, and just, just asking, just considering, even donating means ever. Dyson's crazy, but thank you for getting thank that up guys. there. Um, so just even considering it. Um, and I'm not kidding when I say, like, a dollar goes a long way. Because if, if 10 people get, can only give a dollar, that's $10. That's, that's so incredibly helpful. Y'all don't even understand. That's, that's lunch for the day for us because we will literally get – Stuff to make sandwiches. Um, you can make a lot of peanut butter and jelly sandwiches for ten dollars. We also <coughs> we also got a we got quite a bit of gift cards for food. That's why when I said um, if you guys go on the Amazon and the gift card, um, <coughs> try to make it towards like gas. Um, I think our food's pretty well. I mean, yeah, we can still use some, but we're going to eat decent. And if anybody, and I'm going to tell you this right now, if anybody sees us at Red Lobster, it's because we have a gift card. Well, and a lot of the <laughs> gift cards that we put on there, it's because that one, it's a chain. So they're pretty much everywhere we go. So we're not limited to, um, you know, having to hold on to those. It's not wasted money. Uh, you know, Subway is everywhere God, subway's awesome uh taco bell's everywhere applebee's is everywhere so it gives us an opportunity to use those kind of across every trip that we have um, again we do have six or seven people with us at any given time um and i don't know if y'all know this but britain eats way more than i do britain puts it down <laughs> let me tell y'all like i love Britain, britain. colston jesus <laughs> Like, but, um, 
<clears throat> so, and a lot of those chain places have huge parking lots. So, or are in areas that have big parking lots. So we're able to pull in the RV and the boat. We don't have to walk. We don't have to worry about anything. So. Sheets cards. Yeah, we, so we're heading to Ohio. Um, you guys in, in Sheets, or you guys in Ohio, you don't understand how lucky you are to have a Sheets. <laughs> I know it may be just to y'all, to like, to y'all. I love Sheets. Uh, they have some really good food. I love Sheets. I love it so much. Um, Sunny is here. So I was on the Apex. Uh, on the new boat, uh, whenever we are able to go get it, it's actually going to be switched. Uh, Jacob will have the Apex, uh, my Apex on his side, and then the new Solix that they've been gracious enough to put in that boat will actually be on my side. So uh, from what I'm understanding, there's not a lot of difference in a Solix and, a, and an Apex. So... But Jacob will actually have the Apex on his side. I'll have the Solix on mine. Roller Coaster 65 says, I can't believe I actually caught you guys live. Well, welcome and thank you so much for your guy, for your support. Can't Sorry, believe I you just, read that right. I looked at it for a little bit while you were talking and I kind of put it all together. I'm really proud of you, bud. Bread maker, bread maker. Two, two times. Thank you again. Um, and we will use that to whatever we need, um, what it needs to go to, or, you know. So most everything goes to gas and food. Uh, gas for the RV, gas for the boat. Um, we do we do tend to use uh, RV parks more in the summertime because of the air conditioner. Uh, we have that generator but it doesn't, with the air conditioner, doesn't run all night. So it's actually a little more cost effective for us to pay, you know, the $30 most of the time to stay at an RV park and, you know, plug up for the night versus we have to fill the, if the air conditioner is on, we have to fill up the generator three times. Two times if it's hot. Yeah. Or three times if it's hot. Yeah. And it's really pushing. Um, good night, Richard. Whoa, I'm so sorry that you guys had to hear that. That just came out of nowhere. It didn't. Deb Watson? He does that all the time. Hi, Mama Deb. Uh, how do I do gas or food cards on Amazon? There's been, on the description, uh, not description, but the uh, chat there, um, Jeff has been posting up an uh, Amazon wish list, and they are on there. Uh, don't really know how you buy them. I guess you just go through there and select what you want. I think you just add it buy. to your cart and check out. Okay. And it automatically sends it to us since you're buying it off of a, a wish list or, or anything like that. Um, so, with all of that being said, questions? We can go to questions because it's been, uh, I, I did say we were going to spend a little bit more time. It's mm -hmm. only been 48 minutes. We are doing good. We had a lot to go over. So, yeah. We're going to be going for two months, guys. As much help, even throughout the, even throughout the two months. When you guys are watching this, it's uh, what April. What is today's date? Thirteenth, fourteenth. Today's the fourteenth. Till June. June twenty first, twenty third, twenty second, twenty second. Um, anytime between there, guys. If you guys want to help, please. It would be amazing. Um, thank Sherry you, Martin, Sherry. thank you so much. Uh, Moto dog, we are coming. Huh? What? Are you coming to find my grandpa? That's Moto dog. He's the one who brings you your skis for Tom Long. I know him. Okay. Well, you're still sitting there like you were trying to think. So well, I I, I do I try saw to the think smoke a lot. Coming out of your ears. Um. Why don't you guys look into plug-in or solar power? I did look into solar power. Um, I am in the in the works on that, um, but again, it's way too close to time to leave. Um, if anybody else knows anything about solar or whatever, please reach out to me. Um, um, Garrett is doing much better. Um, if you go back to the, if you just hopped on, but if you go back to the beginning, uh, Garrett came over here and 
just told everybody, um, you know, how he was feeling and, and his experience and that kind of thing. But he did get released as far as, you know, everything's healing correctly. He's, you know, not in any pain. Everything is good. So he's uh, pretty much back to normal. Breadmaker, thank you so much again. Love you guys and praying you are covering each other's six, exactly. Prayers, love, and hugs from an old lady in Wyoming. You're not an old lady. You're a young lady. Um, so once we get the new boat, we will be able to start using that electric motor that we have. Um, there wasn't a way to properly install it on this boat. When we had it on, um, it had to be taken off and on and off and on because when it was on the boat, you know, attached to it, the prop actually sat down in the water even when it was lifted up. So it would drag and it was causing too much tension. It would it would wriggle right off. So we used it though. We still have videos coming out with it. Yeah, um, but it will be a, a permanent fixture on on the new boat. Um, they have not found Eric's cousin yet. Uh, somebody had asked about that. Rebecca Thomas um, loves. Um, yeah, we tend to stop at like loves, pilots, uh, flying jays, sheets when we're up north. Um, you know, things that have, again, you know, a bigger, a bigger parking area, that kind of thing. So we do try to use truck stops, even though we are using, you know, the, the regular fuel side, we're not using the diesel fuel. We do try to, to use those more just because they're a little more accommodating. Somebody was saying something about KOAs. Um, I looked into like becoming a member of a KOA to get discounts, but I, <laughs> they're like the, uh, glamping, um, campgrounds. They are really, I mean, they're pretty high priced. Um, so we, we tend to see, stay at the mom Paul ones uh, for cheaper. Sherry, nothing. Oh, Sherry, that's fine. Don't apologize. Ever. Um, really, it does mean everything. And I can't express that enough. Um, yes, please please feel like, if you guys feel like you can't help us, right now what you're doing, you're helping us. Like, everyone that's in here, you're helping. Um, watching, sharing, sharing. We're going to be out. We need all the information we can get on all these cases. So the, the cases that the people were searching for, we need some information. Like, we're still out there. It's still, you know, somebody can bring something up that we didn't even think about. And you guys are our internet sleuths. You guys are awesome. You good? Billy Browning, member for 40 months. I don't know what I just did. You turned it. Thank you. Uh, becoming a member also, guys. That's cool. Um, we are going to go Facebook Live tomorrow with Britain to explain kind of the same thing, but also give uh, Britain some uh, some love on the channel. And also, um, they're going to be with us. Uh, I think we're just going to hang out tomorrow. May drop the RV off if I can. Uh, how's Maverick? He's in a cage right now, sleeping. He's a puppy. No. <laughs> uh, he's he's incredible. He really is. Uh, I'm excited for him to be back on the road with us. Uh, Maverick and Rooster together have one brain cell. So <laughs> they're, they're just puppies. They're puppies together. Um, but when Maverick and Rooster are kind of separated, uh, they just tend to listen better. Like any child uh so <clears throat> he's doing really good he just got all of his uh everything taken care of for the next six months shots everything's up to date um so he's good to go uh but they're both in their cages right now because of the cords and the extension cords we didn't want them to knock everything over billy browning no uh we never did uh that actually was stolen and was actually given back to the person um so, survivor and supporter of cyberbullying, I did see your message earlier about the nice beard. Thank you so much. Um, awesome. I see that you're a new subscriber and you stumbled across this video one night, and I'm hooked. Thank you. Um, everybody's support is phenomenal. Um. Uh. 
Um, Diane, have a nice evening. Thank you so much for, for your time. Good night, Diane. And then either Melissa or Kyle got off earlier because I saw them saying good night to each other, but I don't know which one got off. So whether it was Melissa or Kyle, good night. <laughs> we are also speaking about Canada. We're also thinking about how this trip goes this 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 time and and may and hopefully knock on wood nothing happens to the rv and everything goes smoothly i think we're going to uh, try to get up into canada um i see jeff has uh put out need a light try big blue lights big blue has been amazing they were in and out with my big dive light that i used that messed up on me um, it was a battery issue. They solved it, brought it back. Awesome. Anything else? Other than, other than that, guys, there's really nothing, nothing to talk about. Um, real, 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 real quick. We're searching for Donna Mitchell, Bonnie Schultz, Tom Long, Janet Walls, Charles Hamlin, Karen Adams, Juliet Turner. Robert Vance, David Kane, Wesley Bennett, Augustine Floyd, Donald Stofko, Jerome Tubert, Georgia Smith, Mark Foles, John Stephen Conway, Matthew Ferris, Harry Milligan. I just figured out that that's you. Has she been putting stuff on there? Lily. <laughs> And I figured out that that was her. William Weber, if you guys have any information that could help us out in bringing these people home, I know the family would be ama would be very appreciative. We're there for the family. Law enforcement, you know, we'll work side by side with them, but we're just there for the families. And anybody that anybody who helps, you're not helping us. You're helping the families for us to be able to get to them. Uh, somebody, have you guys worked any cases in New York before? Yeah, we were actually there. Was it last summer or fall? We're also coming back too. Um, and then this year, so when we our our fall trip, we were we're we will either um, we know we want to come back to New York and continue to our search for for Guy Pike. Um, I haven't seen Jennifer in here tonight, but. Um, that is Guy Pike's granddaughter. She's been searching for her grandpa since she was 18 years old, I believe. So we want to uh, go and, you know, search again for him. We have a lot of places to pick up right where we left off. If we do head back that way, I'm almost positive Todd will be with us. Yes. So, and then from there, we're either going to take the opportunity and go north into Canada, or we are going to head back down the East Coast, which we've made that trip uh, we've gone like halfway down and then to the west or we started, you know, in the south and kind of went up and then to the west. Um, but we've never just made a true trip down the east coast. So, again, we've got some cases out there that we need to return to. So we want to get those um, in our schedule. So we will either be going to Canada uh, and going or to New York and then going up to Canada or we will be going to New York and then, you know, traveling down that. The East Coast. We'll also reach out, Dominic, if uh, if we do come up into Canada. If you guys know anywhere on there in these areas where Lindsay had talked about, you know, Detroit area, Mount Pleasant, those places, um, it is very beneficial. Um, I do know Corey has a little issue sometimes with getting um, getting around with with uh, you know being an amputee. Um, we usually try to stay in campgrounds when we have him. And uh, it's just a really amazing thing if we can get some help on uh, some campgrounds, uh, some suggestions, and uh, yeah. Um, what what we will do is once the live stream is over, we will put this list um, in the description in the video, uh, in the description of this video, so that way it's out there. Um, we will be sharing it again. Um, I can make a community post in the next couple of days kind of just saying, you know, who they are, when they went missing, and where they're from. Uh, 
And then we'll be doing the same thing for Facebook, getting everything out there. Got to be kidding me. Good night. I like that. She said it's Mandy. She said it's me, Mandy, earlier. Oh. Okay. Because <laughs> she had posted it earlier. Um, absolutely, Billy. Good night. Um, so... All in all, we are going to Indiana, Ohio, Pennsylvania, Michigan, Wisconsin, Minnesota, Iowa, into Illinois, and then back home. Roxanne, I'm glad you're here with us. All right, guys. With that being said, we've been on here for almost an hour. Actually, Just exactly over. an hour. I think that says 52. So an hour and one minute. Thank you guys so much. If you guys haven't checked out chaosdivers.com, that's how you can help us with this trip. Um, the GoFundMe is in the description, or we have PayPal, Venmo, Cash App, or the store. Thank you guys again so much for all your support. You guys are helping out families um, all over the country. And uh, If you guys do have any information, feel free to reach out um, on chaosdivers.com. In the bottom right-hand corner, there's a chat now button. That's a direct link to me. As well as up above on chaosdivers.com, there is a tip submission or tip or case and tip submission form. Um, and that gets sent uh, to me as well. So uh, again, uh, if any of you guys do follow us on Facebook, tomorrow at some point in time, we will be live and we'll be joined with Depths of History while he's here, dropping off some of his stuff so we can get it packed for, for our big spring trip. Love each and every one of you. Keep diving. It's not where to stop, which means keep pushing in life. Do what you know. Do everything you can to succeed. Um, if you don't succeed, just keep trying. One of these times, you will succeed. And uh, yeah. Love you. Bye. I'll see you guys later. I don't know. They changed it. Is this the Exxon now? I don't know.